Hey everyone, it's Paige and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I know I missed the last two weeks, but I have been so incredibly busy. I have like an exciting update. So I'm now working with PointsBet and they are a sports betting company. They have a sports betting app and I've been doing a lot of work with them, which has been, again, um, time consuming, but so much fun. And so be on the lookout for that. I'll link them down below too. So if you want to go bet and uh, check out all the stuff I've been doing with them, the link will be right there. So. It's a little windy today, as you can tell by the mess that is happening with my hair right now. So I'm gonna show you how I practice in the wind and some really great shots that you can hit in the wind. So the first thing you wanna do is try to see kind of the direction of where the wind is going and line up to where the wind is blowing, if that makes sense. So what I normally do first is I will grab some grass, throw it up so it looks like it's heading in this direction. So I'll align myself up along that way in the very beginning so that way i'm hitting just a dead straight down the line uh downwind shot if i if it's blowing this way and i line up really far to the left side then the whole time my ball is just going to be going this way same for if i line up really far to the right it's going to be really hard to work it and so you might be hitting shots that are not what you would normally hit and you then will try to like change your swing because of it. So instead of doing that, I just try to find where your downwind is and I'll line up to that in the very beginning. Sorry, there's like planes everywhere. It's windy. Still haven't gotten a mic. So I'm not professional at this. <laughs> um, but I'll show you what I do later when I actually work on hitting different shots with the wind. So in that case, then I will move my target around, try to work them into it. But first, right off the bat, because I don't want to get any bad habits, I just try to find downwind. So I'll go through my normal warm-up routine as if I always do. Start small, work big, but tempo is the biggest thing that I focus on, especially in the wind. I'm just gonna say this now, if it's a really windy day, go play, don't practice, because you're going to develop a lot of really bad habits if it is super windy, or don't hit golf balls, but go work on your short game. That's more than okay, but try to stay away from the driving range if it is super windy. But if you live in a place that is very windy, you can still practice, that's totally fine. But again, just be aware of the fact that if you are hitting really straight shots, good shots, the wind could be taking it, so don't try to move your swing in different ways to you know try to adapt it to the wind so going back to i digress let me go back to what i was really saying is tempo so i'm gonna do all my tempo drills and you've seen me do these a lot before but i'll just give you a little refresher and i'll show you what i do So after I do my drills, I'll then work through my bag. So I'll just show a little bit of that. And then right after that, I'm gonna go into some shot shaping with the wind.
Okay, perfect time for this because it's getting a little bit more breezy now. So this is the fun part and what I love most is practicing when it's windy. It's not about focusing on your technique or hitting certain positions. It's about shot shaping and seeing how the wind affects your ball. So I like to almost take the stick away. I'll put the stick there just to get a general uh, aim of where I want to go. But then I mess with it. I'm hitting draws, I'm hitting fades, I'm hitting it high, I'm hitting it low. And all you want to focus on here is how is the wind affecting it. So this is great when you're out on the golf course and it feels about this windy. You know that, okay, if I draw it into this wind, it's going to stay straight. If it fades a little bit more, it's going to take it 5 to 10 yards. If I hit it low, it's going to go this far. If I hit it high, it's going to affect it that much. And that is where practicing in the wind is so valuable is taking the funness of working on your shots out on the golf course seeing what it does seeing how your ball reacts i've talked about this before is how to hit a fade and how to hit a draw so i'll link that video here too so you guys can go check it out won't waste any time on that and i also showed you how to hit a lower punch shot or a knockdown shot into the wind i will link that as well so right now i'm just going to go through and you guys can watch me kind of play around mess around see different shots comment down below on what you think I'm trying to do. If I'm trying to hit more fades, more draws, high, low, uh, love to hear from you guys. One last thing, if you are going to take the stick away, make sure you go behind it and line it up every single shot. If you just start stepping up to it without lining it up, you're not actually gonna know where you're aimed. And that and this is all for nothing if you're not taking that time to go back and line it up. So quality over quantity here that's my motto with a lot of my practices that i do especially with short game and when i'm doing shot shaping because again if you go up and you're just hitting all these balls you don't know where you're lined up or what it was even doing You could see that I was hitting high shots, high fades, high draws, some hooks, some slices, some low shots, low draws, low hooks, low fades, low slices. You get the point. Basically, I'm just trying to flight the ball, work on it in very different ways. Um, right, left, high, low, really hitting everything. Um, seeing how much the wind's affecting each shot. Obviously, the wind's blowing a little bit to the right, so they wasn't drawing or hooking as much, and um, so I just kept that in mind. I wasn't trying to exaggerate it anymore. I was just taking mental notes every single time I would hit it, and um, probably as you could see in my setup and stance and um, club face and everything, you could tell probably what shots I was trying to pull off. So you can do it a billion different ways, honestly. I like to do it by just small little changes in my setup and then mostly with swing path because I like to feel my hands working. That's how I like to work shots the best. Um, but you can do it really any way you want. There's no right or wrong way. Whatever works for you and having confidence with that. But getting that confidence comes with practice. And I didn't probably show it, but every time I stepped back, did my routine, focused in, tried to feel that shot, mostly in the practice swing behind it. You see it, you feel it, you hit it. So first you visualize the shot, then you feel it with your body, how it's gonna move through, and then you hit the shot. So play little games with yourself. Try to hit different pins, wrap it around certain pins. Another thing I like to do that I'll show you is I'll put a, a, a stick out in front of me and I have to work it around the stick. So that one's really easy. All I do is just grab a stick, Put it a couple feet ahead of you. Oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. 
little effort. It's fine. Then step back here, and I need to start it around the stick on the right side and work it left. And then we'll do it the opposite way. So I start on the left side and end up on the right side. I don't know if that one did it <laughs> as much. I think I pulled it off, but that's really great too. Good visualization so that way you know you have to start it on the right side and on the left side. You really can play any games you want with it, but when it is windy, this is what I do. I practice shots, I don't practice techniques. So I hope that helped you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below, like this video, and I will see you guys next week.